Okay, so I'm going to preface this by saying that I can appreciate a nice buttocks. I can appreciate a nice buttocks. Okay, a nice bottom. Today, we are oversaturated with that. Let me ask you, how much ass have you seen in images in the last five years? Five years. How much? It's a lot. Almost on every platform, too. YouTube, TikTok, IG. Yeah. A lot of ass, huh? Yeah, just ass here, ass there, ass, ass, ass. It's just ass all over the damn place. And almost every type of woman has one now. I remember when it was just black women. Yeah. I remember when it was the one thing that would identify a black woman's body was her curvaceousness. Okay. Now I'm one that loves athletically curvy, meaning curvy, but able to keep up with me. Curvy, but able to go up and down a staircase without losing your breath. Curvy, but able to, you know, be active. When you're not able to do that, that's when the question marks come up. But that's beside the point. Black women, melanated women were known for having curves. You go back to the 70s, you go back to the 80s, and that's a characteristic of most black women. And then all of a sudden, here we are in the 21st century, and almost every type of woman has an ass. And it's interesting because when did that start up? Was it the 90s with the hip hop videos, Caribbean rhythms, you know, the Jamaican dances in the hip hop videos? And then I remember the butterfly was a popular dance move. And then all of a sudden, that impact of seeing these beautiful, melanated, dark skinned women with these big buttockses would become infectious by other women. And other women were like, okay, I got to, in order to attract melanated men, I got to have that. Why? Because melanated men love ass. So it became this thing. Now I'm talking back, back. I'm talking nineties, early two thousands. You know, it was known. If you talk to anybody that was a teenager or an adult in the nineties and early two thousands, that was sort of like a rite of passage in order, in terms of attracting black males, right? If that was the goal. Okay. Now for me, it was different because I was, I've never been an ass guy. And that most black folks used to question like, what kind of a brother are you? What kind of a brother are you that you're not fascinated by something you can put a drink on? What's wrong with you? Are you okay? Are you, is there a problem? No, there is no problem. I am not fascinated by something that is used for waste deposits. Okay. Now I can understand and appreciate, check, check yourself. Now I can appreciate it. Oh, I can appreciate it. Make no mistake. I can appreciate it, but it's not overwhelmingly enticing for me. The point to where I lose it and start tripping over my feet if I'm standing out in a public space and I see six ladies with some plump in the back and I go nuts. I go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. No, that's not me. In fact, this is what will happen. I guess I'll go over here and take a walk down the street. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here and explore these books. You know what I mean? Like, that's what happens for me. And it's funny because back in 2008, when I made my little attempt at stand up, that was a part of my stand up routine. I put the video in the end screen. Check it out. But yeah, the fascination with the buttocks, the glutamus maximus, black women started it. Make no mistake, ladies, for those of you, okay? Make no mistake, black women started it. And it trickled down to all these other ladies. And now you just inject it. Yeah, you just inject it now. And now you look at these IG models. You look at the TikToks. You look at all this stuff. Booty, 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 booty. It's like photographers only want to photograph that. Yes, they do photograph other things. Yes, yes. And you have some brilliant photographers. Yes. Oh, yes. But I always think when I see these pictures, when I scroll down the IG pages and I see booty, 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 booty all down there, I think, damn, are these photographers just only focused on what you got behind you? I mean, it's obvious that you got that going on. I mean, why not try and anyway, let me stop. So, yeah, 21st century. Here we are. Oversaturation. There's no balance. You go back 20 years ago, you have six ladies and maybe two of them had plumpness in the back, all right? Or three, it would be half and half, you know? Where are the women who don't have ass? Where are they? 
If you're a woman who doesn't have one, raise your hand. If everything is in the front, raise your hand. I love you. Anyway, yes. Or just, you know what? Let me put that aside. Where are the natural women? Where are they? The ones that are natural. Where are you? Do you still exist? Do you want to exist? Because there was a time when being natural was okay. Yeah. Just be who you are. If you got a B cup, cool. Work it. If you got a double D, cool. Work it. If you got some in the back, cool. Work it. If you don't have any, cool. Work it. What? You can work whatever you have. Once upon a time, women understood this. My grandparents' generation understood this. Yeah. Work with what you got. Shake what your mama gave you. You know, that whole thing. But now it's like, oh, let me plump this out, way out, make it look like a balloon. Let me do that. And I'm thinking, what is the fascination other than visual with the ass? Because what is it? You sit, it's a cushion to sit on, right? Creates a little bit of balance, maybe. But gas comes out of it. It's used for waste deposits. Huh? There's fascination with this. See, this was my logic back in the days. That's how I put it together. Before the twerking, all right? Before the twerking, I was having these conversations because dudes were trying to convert me. <laughs> they They're like, bro, we're going to convert you. You're going to like some ass today. We're going we gonna, to, yeah, because you, you, you can't be, you, we, you're going to have to turn in your black card. I don't give a damn about no black card. I like what I like. Okay? So how much ass have you seen in five years, anywhere. It's been a lot. So much to the point to where you're desensitized to it, huh? It's no longer special. You see, it's no longer special because so many women, you know what I mean? It's no longer a special thing. So who cares? Oh, you got to ask? Okay. You know what I mean? Because once upon a time, like I said, you would have six ladies and maybe two of them would be nice and stacked or three or it would it would be very rare where you would see six ladies and all six are stacked. But that's today. And the majority of it is not real. <laughs> Maybe. OK, here's a new ratio. Six ladies. Right. All of them are stacked, but only two of them. It's real. Two of them didn't have to pay for it. Is that the new stat ratio today? Why don't you do a count? Eight ladies all going to the club or going out in a public space by the pool, eight ladies. How many of them are 100% real from head to toe? Eight ladies out of eight. Is it two? Probably three out of eight. Somebody needs to do a survey on that. How many real women exist and are they okay with it? And if they're not okay, why not? Why aren't you using what God or the universe gave to you? Why? Make it work. You have so much more than your flesh. You're only borrowing the body anyway to function down here on the planet. Why do you put so much emphasis on how big and plump the thing in the back is? Big and plump, big and plump. Like Al Pacino said in Heat, she has a great ass and you've got your head all the way up it. <laughs> 